It's been fabulous to be back here at the Imperial War Museum, Duxford, for our first motor car sale of 2023. We've sold over 70% of the lots offered here today, with over three million pounds currently the total for the vehicles that have exchanged hands. The provisionals team are currently working hard on some of the other cars, so hopefully that total will get even bigger overnight and into tomorrow. The views on the website on the catalogue was 162,000. So we had great coverage on the, on the website and further coverage on the catalogues that we send out and, and the ones that are purchased here on site. We got bidders from all around the globe, including Bangladesh, Dubai, Germany, Canada, France, America, Italy, and Australia, just to mention a few. And we had some really notable results with the cars which we sold. Some of the big sellers, the unmissable Michael Caine Silver Shadow Drophead Coupe. That sold on the day after his 90th birthday for £120,000 on the hammer. Another notable seller for the same amount was an exquisitely restored XK150S Roadster, which also found a new home. We had Wilfred, the three litre Bentley, which also achieved 140,000 plus fees. And a few other of the notable big sellers were the Bentley Mark VI Drophead Special. And the Lagonda LG45 Tora, just to mention a couple. We had a, a real nice mix of no reserve vehicles as well. So just over my left shoulder, I can see the rear of the Phantom VI which was owned by Adnan Khashoggi New. That had very competitive bidding in the room with at times the bidding raising in, in 10,000 pound increments and, and in the end achieving 75,000 plus fees. Another notable no reserve seller on, on sort of the other end of the scale, but again seeing really strong bidding activity both in the room and on the web was the Renault 4, which achieved 8,100. And also the Fiat 500, which was a notably nice example, selling for 10,200 on the hammer as well. The Lotus Elise from the Jeff Ward collection as well sold well as a no reserve car. In the fast road section, we had some fantastic results. So the 911 Supersport Targa, one of only 14 UK right-hand drive cars, way exceeded its top estimate, achieving in the region of 65,000 pounds on the hammer. Other strong sellers in that section included the KVA evocation of the GT40, the Ultima, which was unmissable in its fabulous yellow paintwork. The Bentley GTC Speed Black Edition has just been sold in the provisional bids office and we sold the 360 Challenge, uh, which hopefully we'll see competing on a racetrack very soon. Finally, a lot of cars did well and achieved over their estimated figures, so Cars achieving over their guide price included the Alvis TD21 Drophead, the Triumph Stag, which also happened to be from the same stable, and the Alvis Firefly, which exceeded its top estimate too. As I say, we've really enjoyed being back here at Duxford. If you couldn't be with us today, either in person or online or on a phone, we'd look forward to seeing you and hope to see you back here in June. The auction day is the 14th of June and will be open on the viewing afternoon, Tuesday the 13th of June. We'll be back at Buxton for the first sale there of 2023 with the auction on the 26th of April. And if motorbikes and scooters are more your taste, then we are there at the end of this month. Thank you again to everybody who attended in person and anybody who bid either in the room or through one of the other platforms and we hope to see you at one of the sales that I've just mentioned very, very soon. Thank you.